Your place, your money. Brought to you by Rogue Credit Union and AARP. Welcome to Your Place, Your Money. I'm joined today by Kathy Stokes, the Director of Fraud Prevention Programs at AARP in Washington. Kathy, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Thanks for having me. So we're talking today about our vaccination cards. A lot of people excited. They're taking their selfies. They're putting them on social media. It's something you recommend they do not do. Is that right? Absolutely. You know, there's a lot of information on those cards that we just don't want to hand out to people. And if you put it on Facebook or Instagram or somewhere else, a person who is interested in perhaps stealing your identity for good reason for them has all the information that they need. They have your name, they have your date of birth, they have your address. And those are pieces of the puzzle to take over your identity and start to you know, take loans, um, credit cards out in your name. And it's, a, it's a pretty difficult thing to overcome. So I'd say to keep that, keep that close to the vest. So is there other information that we should be keeping close to the vest, to borrow a phrase from you? We don't want to make it easier for those criminals out there who, who make it a full-time job trying to steal our data. Well, I'll tell you, on social media, a lot of people share when they go on vacation. And they may be taking pictures in that moment when they're in Jamaica or wherever they are. And they're basically letting anybody that has access to their page know that they're not home and they could be setting themselves up for somebody to come in and rob the place. Um, I don't wanna scare people about it, but there are things that you can do. There are ways to set your social media up so that you have protections. So the only people that can access what you're posting are your friends and your family. Kathy, thank you so much for taking the time today. Thank you.